Christ has brought us out of darkness to live his wonderful light. Good morning and welcome to our online Chris Ingalls service. We're pleased to have you with us, whether you're joining us online for the first time or whether you have been with us here many times before. You may have collected your takeaway Chris Ingalls bag from church ready to use this morning. But if you haven't, you can still join us later with our Chris Ingalls scavenger hunt in your own home. So, let us begin with St John's Choristers singing for us, Longing for Light. wonderful to hear them sing. Our Chris Dingle may be a little different this year to how it usually is, but in the same way as we always do, we've come together, this time from our homes, but to celebrate Jesus, the light of the world, and the new life and hope that he brings. We also take this opportunity to raise awareness of the work of the Children's Society, who bring light to the lives of many young people who are suffering across our country. Today we have an opportunity during our Chris Dingle service to celebrate Jesus, the light, coming into the world of darkness and to share that light with others. So Jessica, Toby and I headed down to church earlier to just light some candles and to say some prayers. As Jessica lights the candles we say, Jesus, light of the world, Shine in this place. Jesus, light of the world. Shine in our hearts. Jesus, light of the world. Shine in our lives. Jesus, light of the world. Shine in all the earth. Amen. Amen. Now we say to God that we are sorry. Father God, we are sorry for the things we say and do which make you sad and for not thinking of others before ourselves. We are sorry for times when we have seen people in need and ignored them and walked on by. 
Please forgive us and help us to love you and other people, so we may share your light with others and bring hope to the world. Amen. Amen. May God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now St John's Choir will lead us in singing Shine Jesus Shine. Don't forget to clap. Today's reading is taken from John 1, verses 1 to 5, and is read for us by Jess. Christ comes to the world. Before the world began, there was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were made through him. Nothing was made without him. In him there was life. That life was light for the people of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overpowered the light. Thank you, Jess. Chris Dingle was introduced to the Church of England by the Children's Society in the 1960s. The celebration is named after the Chris Dingles that are made during the service and that we're going to make this morning if you've collected your takeaway bag. Alongside that, you can join in in our alternative Christingle scavenger hunt. Most of us are very familiar with what a Christingle looks like. Each part has a meaning, and the Christingle as a whole tells the Christian story. But today, well, we're maybe going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to ask you to make a traditional Christingle if you have your kit, and one from things that you have around your home. Once you've found each element, we're going to take a pause just for a few moments and think about the meaning of it. If you don't want to collect the things, please just be free to watch. And so, let's begin. In the Bible, the book of Genesis tells us that God made the world, 
and all that is in it, and that God was pleased with what he had made. And so we have our satsuma. What can you find that represents the world to you? Maybe it's something beautiful. Maybe it could be something round. It could be a photograph of a landscape. Maybe it's just a ball or a round object, a pebble, anything that you can find. So go and find an object that represents the world to you. Press pause on the screen now and then when you've found it, come back and we'll carry on. Let's just take a moment to think about God's world, God's wonderful world. What part of creation are you particularly grateful for today? Is it a special place, a creature, or maybe a particular person? Sadly, we've all been guilty of damaging God's creation by not appreciating it enough or not looking after it. Maybe this week we can find something that we can do which will make a positive difference towards looking after our environment and our world. The next part of the Christingle is the red tape or ribbon. This represents the love and the blood of Jesus who gave his life for us and for the whole world. So what can you find in your home that is red? What represents love to you? A piece of wool, something red and stringy, a family photograph maybe, a piece of jewellery or something in the shape of a heart. Again, press pause while you either put the ribbon around your orange or go and find something that is red to bring back. So hopefully you've got your ribbon around your orange as well as either a, a red object or something that you have thought of. So let's just take a moment to think about God's love and the people who love us. Who's special to you? Whose love are you grateful for today? At this time of the year, and particularly with the challenges that we face this year, some people are feeling sad, some people are feeling lonely. Maybe you could add those people to your prayers this week. Next, we need the candle. The candle represents Jesus, the light of the world, who brings joy and hope to all. So can you find something that represents light to you while we put our candle into our orange? Maybe it's a candle that you have around your home, a lamp or a torch. Maybe it's just your mobile phone with the light switched on. See you in a moment. Now, just take a few moments to reflect on Jesus, the light of the world, the bringer of joy and hope to all. What things make you full of joy? Some people, such as the vulnerable children and the young people that are supported by the Children's Society, don't feel joy or hopeful and they're struggling. But the Children's Society is there to help them. And we'll learn a little bit more about their work later on. So, finally, what do we need to finish our Christingle? Well, we need the cocktail sticks and the sweets or dried fruit. Now, in your bag, you should have four cocktail sticks. A box of dried fruit and a bag of sweets. These represent all the good things that God gives us in creation. So, you can put your fruit on the sticks and then the sticks into the satsuma. You can put the sweets on too, or you can eat those later. Then, can you go and find something that represents the good things that God gives us? It could be the food in our cupboards. It could be a favourite toy or a favourite object. Maybe it's an, a natural item. Maybe it's a plant that you grow in your house. See you soon.
The four cocktail sticks can also represent the four seasons. So which season are you most grateful for? What are your favourite foods that you are lucky enough to have in your cupboards? What's your favourite animal? Maybe this week we could give thanks for them. Some people in our country and in the world don't have enough food. At St John's we try to help where we can by donating food to the food bank which supports people in our country and our community in particular when they most need it. So, you've made your Chris Stingle, whether that's a traditional one or whether that's an unusual scavenger hunt Chris Stingle. Chris Stingles have been part of the church's history for over 50 years and have helped raise millions of pounds to help this country's most vulnerable children. Each year we ask those who celebrate Chris Stingle to hold a collection to support children and young people in some of the darkest situations imaginable. This short video tells you a little bit about their work. If you would like to make a donation to the Children's Society, please go to our website where you will find a link to follow to do so. Or let me know if you would like to add to the bucket collection that was taken when the takeaway bags were collected. Now, let us enjoy the choir singing Light of Christ. Today's prayers are led for us today by the Rushworth family. Lord Jesus, bring out light to this world. We pray that your light would shine in us and that as a community we may reflect your light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bring out light to the vulnerable. We pray for those in need of your care and compassion. Shine your light on those who feel like they are living in darkness. May we bring strength to the weary, joy to the downhearted, and peace to those who are restless. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bringer of light to children and young people, we pray for young people who are in dark situations. Shine your light on those who feel hopeless, afraid, and without hope, that they may have a brighter future. May we look to your example, not excluding anyone because of age, but accepting all those we meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, 
bringer of light to the helpers. We pray that you would be with those who support young people. Shine your light on teachers and carers in our community. May they know your blessing upon them. We pray for the work of the Children's Society and all those who support their work with vulnerable young people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. 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 And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. If you would like to share photographs of your Chris Stingles that you have made this morning, or the collections that you have gathered together, we'd love to see them by either posting them on our Facebook page or emailing them over to me so that I can upload them for everyone to enjoy. So as we move into the week ahead, let us end our time together with these words. Let us go in peace. We go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love and to reflect God's glory. Amen.